Today we're just we're just hiking up to JRO to see if we can see some see some goats and just document trail conditions. Alan Bennett and buddy John Vanderkin practically have Mount St. Helens to themselves. We're gonna pick up the boundary trail and take that up uh, up to the Johnson Ridge Observatory, which is no not not accessible by car right now. That's been the case for more than a year now. After a landslide last May blew through a stretch of highway and took out a bridge trapping about a dozen visitors who had to be rescued by helicopter. The state built a temporary road in the summer, but the DOT removed it in November following erosion and a culvert failure. Finding a permanent fix could take three years. I don't know if we'll see the pond, but there's a beaver family that yes. has moved. It could be 2027 before visitors can drive up to the closest vista point again, the Johnston Ridge Observatory. But Alan and John, volunteers for the Mount St. Helens Institute, routinely make the five-mile trek up to the closed observatory, where nowadays the mountain goats outnumber the visitors. The crowds are never huge, and so you don't have to sit in a line, you know, to get into the park. At you know, the other mountains around here often at the times happens. The landscape is so varied. Um, the the wildlife that you'll see. There's plenty of places for people to pull out for viewpoints if you're not a hiker. And Johnston Ridge isn't the only place you can see the crater, or at least part of it. We have an active volcano in our backyard. Why haven't you? I hope. And why aren't you visiting it? The Science and Learning Center up here at Coldwater Ridge is the next closest visitor center to the volcano. It opens up tomorrow and Sunday from 10 to 4, and then it will be open every day this summer starting next Friday. Even if you can't get a good view of the mountain, if you come up here, they've got film, they've got photographs, and lots of experts to help you relive that eruption. At Mount St. Helens, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.